Now, eventually, after that feud's over, you start a feud with Raven a little bit down the road. And then eventually, you and Raven have your feud. He ends up beating you via cheating with help from the flock. And they kidnap you. What did you kind of think of this whole angle? Is Raven your buddy? Was Raven trying to you know get you back in in the motion and get give you you know a bit of a push? Well, I mean, well, me and Raven have been friends since we met on some indies, and in maybe I think it was ninety four. Oh, wow, just cut up talking. He was he was flamingo then, and um, just cut up. Just you know nothing major. And then when he came into WCW. When we did that, it was in San Diego. When we did the the drop toll in the chair, it was just supposed to be a an impactful way of debuting Raven. And I just remember it was either my selling that did that that made Kevin sell, a light go off in Kevin Sullivan's head. It was like to make a story out of this instead of just a one time thing where I got hurt and was off the road for a while or whatever, didn't get seen and come back and whatever they turned it into a storyline because it's supposed to be a one-off where i got hurt and then we started working the storyline out of it i think either kevin and scotty talked and said let's make a story out of this because it'd be a better way to just uh introduce him and just hurt guy here hurt guy there do this here do that there and make a story out of it because he was putting together a flock and he didn't want me to be a part of flock at first because I was a retread of the American males. He wanted new guys like Lodi. Kidman was a so-so where he, you know, made him come in there. He had sick boy come in, who was another guy from the power plant. Uh, Saturn came in from ECW. So he was kind of happy about Saturn coming in because he wasn't, he was new to WCW, but he wasn't new to the wrestling world. So there are little things that, um, where he wanted to create the group, but me wearing the eye patch, and this is how we produced our own segments. And since how we produced our own matches back then, when I worked with Saturn, and I came out with the eye patch on. And if you can remember the match with Saturn, the eye patch and the gauze and stuff came off, and so they were they were freaking out because they didn't know that I had the eye, the opaque contact lens in. That made me look up you know, the old Jake Snake with the eye yep. pat, you know, the thing made your eyeball white. And they didn't know they had done that. So the guys in the back, the Booker and, and Bischoff and all those guys had no clue that I was prepared to do this thing and something happened to the eye patch. And when they looked in and saw my eye was messed up, all of a sudden the ref brought by, look at the camera, look at the camera. They love your eye. They love your eye. They want to see your eye. So... And that's when I did the, the dive off the top, too. And Art Anderson didn't want me to do the dive. He goes, dude, you're not Ray Mysterio. You're 240 pounds. And you're like, you're come up probably like a lead weight. He goes, you can do a great drop kick. But I don't know about a dive over a guardrail. And, um, but yeah, we just, we made this, made it work. And we started work. We worked a few house shows together, put our pay-per-view match together. And... It just, again, it was one of those things where it just clicked. Things just worked out. It was timing. Kind of like time to be back in part of the American Males, get my foot in the door in WCW, and then the click with Raven and the flock just worked. And, and where Raven went, okay, this is going to work with Riggs, even though he's a retread. Um, he's changed his look. He embraced the eye patch. And he's got the hair in the face. He's got the mutt chops going. So this will work. And so, I mean, the, th the funny thing was, is like me and Marcus weren't traveling together as much because he, he was doing the NWO thing. And there were, there were times where he would be on one show, the NWO, we'd be another town over whatever, another, another part, another, uh, uh, the B towns. He was maybe working an A town loop. We were working B town loop and the flock would be on that. And so the flock started traveling together. So we became a little group that did stuff together. Um, so again, it was just the thing where there was chemistry with Raven. We and Saturn tagged a few times, and we again we had chemistry without talking about a whole lot to do this or do that. Got the ring, we just did it. And so I enjoyed the flock because man, it was so cool to sit ringside after they after we joined. We you know we got to sit ringside, we sit there and we 
give fans 20 bucks, have them bring us a few beers. So we sit there, drink a beer during the show if we weren't working. Um, so you got to watch the matches from a fan's perspective instead of a monitor in the back. And we had real heat. I mean, people walk by, kids would curse at us, flip us the bird. People walk, you know, people sitting around us didn't want us sitting there, we're all mad that we were taking ringside seats and stuff like that. So it was different. It was cool, but we we were like the real, the real heels. NWO was the cool heels. We were the guys that got heat. So good stuff. Yes. It, the flock was fun. The flock is great, and and it's kind of like that that B squad or whatever. When the NWO is that A squad, as far as like you know the pecking order of things. But was that eye injury legit, or was it just all you know work with the eye patch? Yes. <laughs> 